Hey bitches, it's Saturday. So this week's theme is... Damn it, my boob's doing it again. So this week's themes is pet peeves. Now, I've already written a lot of my pet peeves on my Tumblr, so I'm going to go ahead and link that in my pants so you can go check all that shit out. But I'm going to list some pet peeves that I haven't mentioned on Tumblr yet, um, just because, yeah. Bridget, come here. Bridget, come here, sweetie. Come here, babe. Come here. Come on up. Come. Bridget, come on. Come. Come on up. Come on up, babe. Come on. Come on. Come over here. All of the pet peeves that I am going to talk about today all have to do with this precious little rascal here. My Border Collie Lab mix, Bridget. Bridget, good girl. Bridget, good girl. Bridget, give me paw. Yeah. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. Yes, you are. Now go away. Lately, I've gotten really into going for bike rides with the dog, where she walks on her leash next to my bike. And what really, really, really pisses me off every time we go out is um, these people who walk their dogs, but they don't want their dogs to ever associate with any other dog. And it's just like, whenever you walk by, and Bridget always goes after them to play with them, and she is a sweet, good, obedient girl, and she would never, ever hurt another dog, and she's not aggressive, and she's just a big old sweetheart with lots of manners and she's very polite but when she walks up to another dog just to play the owner shrieks back like oh my god she's a demon animal that's horribly trained and is going to kill my dog and it's just like no no if if you have a dog then your dog needs to play with other dogs just like no. If you're going to have a dog, and if you're going to take your dog for walks, you need to realize that there are going to be other dogs out there, and that your dog is going to want to play with these dogs, and that that dog is going to want to play with your dog. And so it's just, it's not fair to either animal. It's not fair to Bridget. It's not fair to the other dog for their dumbass owner to keep them, like, on a tiny, tiny leash where they can't play with people. It's just, it's not fair. Dogs are meant to play. And it's not my fault if my dog wants to play with your dog. Because, you know, they're dogs. That's what they do. Another pet peeve I have that has to do with dogs is designer dogs. They just piss me off to no end. I just, just, no, I don't like them at all. All. And you know what I'm talking about, those designer dogs that, like, the socialites all carry around, like, the purebred ones that cost a thousand dollars. Those ones. I just, I hate them so, so much. For two main reasons. Um, one, when you design a dog, first of all, you cannot fucking design a dog. Evolution kind of fucking does that. And second of all, when you try to design a dog and when you do design a dog, it's, it's not fair because when you design a dog, hey, sweetie, um, you, you design them to like to be aesthetically good but what's aesthetically good and appealing might not be the best thing thing for them because I know like like Sharpay those dogs girly girl they like they have major skin problems and bulldogs with their their, their mushed in nose their nose isn't supposed to be mushed in that much they have breathing problems and so they suffocate to death a lot of the time and just there are several 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 most purebred breeds have these awful medical conditions because of their designer breeding. You should just let evolution go and let evolution do what evolution's going to do. If you want if you want a healthy dog, go to the pound because that is the only way you're going to get a healthy, healthy dog. And like if you're a breeder or if you show dogs, then obviously you're going to need a designer purebred. And I, I have no problem with that. I think that, you know, uh, showing dogs is a sport and I enjoy watching it. And so I don't have any problem with that. But it's just like the socialites that buy these stupid little dogs or these, you know, these persnickety families who want a nice designer dog as some kind of thing because like the, the neighbors don't have it so you need to have it. I just, I just, I hate it so much. If you really, really want a dog, go to the frickin' pound and pick out one of the frickin' dogs they have there because they're some of the most loving dogs in the world and they will love you unconditionally and they will be awesomely well trained. And if you want a puppy, they have puppies. They have like everything you want there. And like thousands upon thousands of dogs die every year because of designer breeding. Either the designer dogs die because they're bred poorly and they can't freaking breathe or they have medical conditions, or the pound dogs that die because of this. And it's just, it's not 
fair to either animal. Like Bridget here. Yeah, you heard your name. Yes, you did. Bridget, um, her mom was a Katrina dog. Her mom was rescued from New Orleans after the hurricane, and then she was taken to the pound where she gave birth to a bunch of ki uh, not kittens, to a bunch of puppies, <coughs> and then um, we fostered Bridget and her sister Shadow, and then um, Shadow got adopted by someone else, and we decided to adopt Bridget, and she is the most wonderful, awesome dog in the world, aren't you, Bridget? Are you a good girl? You a good girl? You a good girl? Yes, you're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. And just, just, just get a pound dog. They're so much better and they're so awesome. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Just, just get a pound doggy. So I consulted the fedora of awesomeness to see who should get my challenge. And the fedora picked Amanda. But since Amanda has like a bazillion challenges to do this week, I'm just going to force Jess to do it instead because I don't think she has any challenges. And I don't know. I just felt like challenging Jess because I'm a bitch. So my challenge for you, Jess, is that you have to do at least part of your video um, while drinking something. So that means you have to talk while drinking. So um, have fun with that. And it can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Um, so have fun with that. I'm sure you'll love it. Ta. There. Acceptable.